Okay, uh, let's see. So what do we want to do? Wow. So I got a paladin, paladin, and a paladin. Do I want an ectomorph? Not really. Do I want bald? Yeah, probably bald. Let's go bald. But yeah, sometimes you just want to play something with polish. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's save our money for a second. So blood sword. Blood helm? Ah. So we need some ca carrying capacity. Okay, I guess let's work on that one here. Okay, next up... I mean, honestly, let's just blow all of our gold on that. Then after that, I don't know. Uh... Do I want to get Death Defy? Yeah, we'll get Death Defy. Okay, there we go. So I wanted to switch my helmet out purely for stylistic consistency. All right. This bald lass is ready to go beat some things up. Let's see if she can. We'll figure it out. It's wrong to say that it feels like if a game's in early access and a roguelike or open world, it's going to be a forever early access game and die in infamy now. I, yes and no. There's a lot of good early access roguelikes that absolutely are... Let's see. That are absolutely going to get finished and are improving drastically. Uh, even over the past couple weeks, I loaded up... Oh, what's some good examples here? I loaded up uh, Atomicrops. Atomicrops has come a fair ways. Obviously, it still has a long way to go. But, like, Atomicrops is really fun. Uh, and, like, the meta progression is, is really helping to make that game a lot more interesting from, like, a long-term perspective. Even if, you know, it still desperately needs... Uh, still desperately needs co-op, in my opinion. That co-op in Atomicrops would probably solve so many issues. Just in terms of, like, stress and pacing and whatnot. Uh, Undermine's another good example where... It's probably going to be stuck in early access for a while, because a lot of people really got into it. Uh, but at the same time, every update really does actually add a fair bit to it. I think it still has some fairly fundamental problems, namely the fact that the gameplay is very uh, stable. It's too stable, give or take. Uh, so, how would I even describe it? Uh, every, every time I do a Undermine run, it feels like the exact same run, which, you know, I'd actually say the exact same thing about Rogue Legacy. Every run of Rogue Legacy is very much a... Uh, every run of Rogue Legacy is very much just kind of the same with some slight variations, usually based on whatever Descendant you start with. And I sincerely hope they managed... Oh my gosh! Okay. Almost got it. Oh, that's fine. Uh, hello. Yeah, sure. Let's go with the uh, massive Spelunker. How much HP do I have? <laughs> 35. Okay. We might want to... We might want to switch this out just a bit. Uh, let's see. Should really probably save up for the ranger chest and focus on my equipment. Okay, 65 health or 50 health. Oh, yeah, blood 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 helm is pretty bad. Okay. I 
think we're going to want the ranger limbs at the very least. Probably get some more of the other things too. At some point. Do we want to go guardian sword? The extra armor and the extra health would probably help. Okay, so that's a bit lighter. Let's do blood limbs and guardian sword. Okay. That's about as good as I'm going to be able to get it. I'm very, very squishy. But, uh... I'm also monstrously huge. <laughs> ah! Okay. <laughs> I'm just... Dodging is meaningless. <laughs> this character does not dodge. Dodging is for other, smaller, more reasonable individuals. <laughs> ah! Thank you. Damn it. I just don't quite do enough damage. Which is a bit of an issue. I have... Okay. Ah... Uh, death comes. At least we already have a decent amount of money. So you wonder whatever happened to Vagante. I believe Vagante is done. It's one of those games that they, they did finish it. I just hated it. Vigante was one of those games that, like, it needed a Rogue Legacy meta progression system to really, really be fun. Because the base version of it was very punishing. In a way that I didn't really enjoy as much anymore. Like, it was fun, and then they kept nerfing it. And they kept making it harder and harder to actually get strong in that game. And so you're kind of constantly in this this mediocre situation where everything could and would kill you. Maybe not instantly. But it was like, it was near enough. And that, that wore on me hard. And so, like, if Vigante had had... Oh, jeez. I mean, honestly, yeah. If it had, if it had, had permanent stat-ups that you could acquire for future runs... Uh, as just, like, the barest of examples... I think that would have made it uh, a lot more passable. But, like, I just kept getting crushed by things, and it wasn't fun. See, how long has it been since Dungreed? Uh, it's been two years now because it had been out a year when I moved I went back to it somewhat recently and it was actually pretty fun I I like I like Dungreed my main issue with Dungreed is just the fact that yeah they did um they were just kind of uh I don't know I guess they weren't necessarily rude I understand why they blocked us from modding the game but it just kind of sucks Because that was, that was definitely a game that was more fun with mods. And being able to, like, kind of screw some of the statistics a little bit. And so when they said no to that and then blocked us from doing it, it was just kind of like, oh, come on. And then I tried playing it again recently, but it just it just didn't feel as fun. I think because the, the, the interesting nature of it had worn off. And I was used to it, and then it was just kind of like, oh boy. Okay, there we go. What do you got for me? Gold! Hella gold! I liked Catacomb Kids a lot, but only has a single developer, so it's taken a while to finish. Yeah, I, 
I was always confused on that one, because it's either one or two developers. Uh, and the other thing is, he worked on Cadence of Hyrule, or at least one of the two, because... I'm pretty sure it's all 4-Bit Friday, but it... Oh, shit. This is one of those rooms. I ain't dealing with that. I'm a spelunk it. I ain't... I ain't risking... my cashola. If I was... If I was a beefier spelunk it, I'd stick around and, and give it a go. But I... I am just big. And there I go. Oh. <sighs> yeah, Catacomb Kids isn't done yet? Nope. Uh, let's see. Do I want another Splunkette? Another Archmage. Endomorph. I like Endomorph. Yeah, let's keep rolling mages. Lady Stephanie was too big. Oh, hell yeah. Alright, I got a decent amount of money. Let's actually make some weapons and armor. Uh, let's see. Ranger Sword. Extra damage, lower weight, no. No. Got all of those. We wanted... We want the ranger chest. The sage equipment is tempting. Oh, the silver cape has siphon. Which actually would be good on my mage, because I don't often take a whole lot of damage, but still. Let's see, what about runes? There's only... So many runes that I want, and we're not getting them for... Aha! Okay, there we go. We're not getting them for the right things. So this means... Damn it. Uh, here we go. So now I can get a... Uh, a balanced rune, which is what I was looking for. There's also flight and a couple other things, but I want one dash and at least two, two double jumps. Dragon unlock stuff is hidden above the castle in the upgrade screen, right? Yes. It requires invulnerability time. But do you have to max it out? Oh, there it is. Bestiality. Half man, half dragon. All awesome. Discover the last start of the dragons. Though you cannot jump, you have unlimited flight and can cast forth powerful fireballs at your foes. There we go. I forgot you actually just have to press up to, to access that one. There we go. Okay, so we got discs. We've also got scythes. We're good. Oh, I didn't put on the right equipment. Whatever. We do enough damage. It's not too bad. Yeah, I don't have my, my ranger gloves on, which means less magic, but hella lifesteal? I don't know. It's fine. Not as lucrative as a Splunket, which means I should probably really, next couple of upgrades, mostly put it into equipment weight and, uh, and armor. Because those don't scale on the Spelunkers, so if I can actually get the Spelunkers' equipment to be high enough that they can uh, pull through the castle, then we can really start doing some money runs. I've mostly been rolling Wizard, because Wizard just demolishes. Uh, yeah, we're early enough. There we go. Whoa! We were early enough and that was worth something. Hell yeah. Let's see. Take no damage. I'll come back to this one. If we can get time stop, that one's good. Karen's Obel, which I believe just makes it so we get more money now. I know normally it makes it so you can go back in uh, at, like, minimal cost. But the mod changes it, so it increases the quality of chests. Yeah, wood becomes silver, silver becomes gold. Which I think is a, a fantastic change. Like, 
I don't think I've seen a single change in uh, Zora's Lament that I disagree with. Which means I sincerely hope the uh, that Cellador Games has played it with this mod and uh, taken notes. Because if even like half of these changes kind of get considered for, uh, for Rogue Legacy 2, it'll be nice. Let's see, nerfed all your speed run glitches and you hate that. I mean, that's, isn't that like normal <laughs> for speed running? I, I don't know of many developers that are particularly speed run friendly, to be honest. And like, I, I've definitely, um, uh, oh man, what was it? I don't even remember which game it was. It was a while back. It might've been Rain World. Oh, was it Rain World when I shotgunned myself into the future? Uh, someone was like, oh shit, that looks like a great speedrun uh, glitch. I want to use that. And then, like, the uh, the developers just straight up got rid of it and they were mad. And so I've just kind of always assumed that it's not necessarily a contentious relationship so much as just a developers exist to frustrate speedrunning. There we go. Ah, I didn't have any money in it. I know, I know some indie developers, Celeste especially, are particularly friendly to their, uh, to their speedrunners. What if years have passed since I first entered these walls? It is true that I am becoming more proficient in clearing monsters, but it feels like an age has passed. I have even forgotten what my own kin look like. What if they think I've failed? What if one of my brothers has beaten me to the cure? And what if I mistook them for a monster? You shotgunned yourself into the future. Sounds like fun. I mean, technically, I died horribly. It was a very fatal experiment. Uh, Crystalon, I thought you specifically clipped that one. Were you not the person that clipped me getting launched into the sunset by a pair of lizards? One way or another, Rain World was a fantastic game that was just a little too hard for me. Perfect for somebody that like really wants to get into the uh, masochistic side of like difficult gaming, but it was a little hard for you know fil filthy casual like me. Let's see. Anything fancy up here? There we go. I've not been scaling up my stats too much because I haven't been very brave about going into other locations. At least not yet. Oops. Ah! Die! Thank you. Alright, and yeah, it's a decent amount of money. You casuals. I am a filthy casual. Like, if I disgust you, then get used to it. Or flee! Get ready for the Lament of Zor's bosses, then. I will get ready with extreme amounts of grinding. There's a reason why I've been stuck in the castle for so long. It's because I'm a lazy butt. Dude, Green Rolls was from before your time here. Really? Huh. Well, one way or another, the Rain World is fantastic. I don't think I would recommend it to most people uh, from like a gameplay perspective, but I'd imagine my stream of it was uh, some kind of extremely amusing. That's you can't grind them to scale up to your stats. Well then, I mean, I'll probably be fine. And if I'm not fine, oh well. Yeah, I, I will be totally honest, this is mostly a just like, hey, I wanted to do a thing to kind of help pre-promote, uh, potentially, you know, Rogue, Rogue Legacy 2 when that comes out. Oh, that was... 
less effective than I was hoping for. Let's see, I got one more axe. Yeah, not great. Still don't quite have the initial angling on those. Defeat all enemies, you say. Scythe all enemies, you say. Well, that was easy. Well, let's see what episode was it in Rain World. Hell, if I remember. I've I've put out over gosh, it's got to be over twenty thousand videos at this point. Like remembering specific epi episode numbers for anything is impossible. I, I would love I would love to have that level of recollection, but it's more important for me to remember that it happens than the uh, the exact time and date. Okay. I really like this scythe. I think the first time I ever played this, I was like absolutely not sold on it. I thought it was boring. I was very wrong. Considering the Wander uh, Wanderer Edition replaced Hedgehog's Curse, Hedgehog's Blessing, which gives money magnet. I think they already ta uh, started taking notes from the mod. Ooh! I mean, money magnet in general, I feel like, is something this game just kind of needed from a quality of life perspective. The shooty doom visses. There we go. There we go. Everybody dead. Everybody is dead. Perfect. We put at least five videos a day. It's uh, it's more than that. I think it's consistently been more than that. There's only a couple times when I actually dip below six, and that's usually because I'm busy. Or I wasn't paying attention and forgot to queue up some videos for the day. Uh, I was kind of panicking earlier. Because I had, uh, whoops. I had screwed up my, uh, my bur murder by numbers videos just a bit. It is not worth it. And I had, like, two episode 28s, and that was, that was a panic moment. Then I realized, no, I just misnumbered everything, but all the episodes were queued up properly. I just... Literally forgot five episodes, and it's like, well, all right, cool. Whoops. But yeah, sometimes I'll miss videos as a result of that, but otherwise, I'm actually, I'm, I'm pretty on top of things, shockingly. Shell always likes to, to jab and say, like, you shouldn't put out so many videos, and then I'd be like, then we'd be poor, and she'd be like, oh. Entry 17. I must be going insane. I stumbled across a carnival inside the castle, complete with a sad clown and everything. He's sort of an ass, but I guess you can't be too picky with your friends at a place like this. I'm getting hungry again. Good thing I topped up on chicken legs. I found these in a chandelier. The castle. Sometimes I wonder if it's all just a big joke. Let's see, when are you going to play Diablo 5 when it comes out? I mean, yeah, sure, in like 30 years, if Blizzard still exists, I'll play Diablo 5. Uh, Diablo 4, I don't know. I might, I, I habitually tend to skip uh, anything with a even number in it, for whatever reason. Uh, so, like, actually no, I tend to skip the odd numbered ones. No PS3. Uh, obviously no Half-Life 3, we skipped to Alex. Not that 3 ever happened, but still. Uh, but no, obviously. Obviously, I, I, I will probably play Diablo 4. I'll see... It'll probably be something I play with Shell whenever that comes out. Oh. Those are a cruel joke for a big man like me. Okay, uh, where are we going? I guess let's head for the forest. I'm kind of killing reason. Uh, I'm killing time. I've got money, so at this point we can just sort of progress for once. Half-Life 3 will happen, give it time. I'm actually looking forward to getting to the end of Half-Life Alex so I can see, because 
I heard they redid some things, and I'm kind of interested in seeing what they've changed. Because, yeah, I, I would love for nothing more than for Valve to actually start producing its own games again aggressively. They certainly have the budget for it, they just don't have the company organization. Uh, apparently working there is both, like, really cool, but also sucks really badly. Like, there's there's some weird uh, socio-political issues where, like, you effectively have to really but, uh, butter up to... Butter up? You really have to butter up uh, Gabe Newell to get anything done half the time. And that apparently has, like, created some strange issues. Let's see, Alex takes before Half-Life 2, right? Yes, it does. It is effectively kind of a Half-Life 1.5-ish. It's a side story, but... If I'm not wrong, it... It does lead up to, like, Episode 2 in some direction? Uh... I... I won't find- I won't know for at least, like, a couple of days, as I can only play so many VR games. Uh, without feeling kind of sick. Uh, but I was hoping to make some progress on that tonight. Okay, this whole sword thing is actually really doing a number on these dogs. I dig it. Okay. There we go. Aaron Zobel is paying out. Okay, there we go. And where are the Lament of Zor's mods? Are they a new game plus, or are there, like, other regions? Because I did see something about new areas. So maybe it's just something that uh, we get access to, like, above the tower or somewhere else. Because, yeah, if they're anything like those challenge bosses, bosses, I'd probably be able to beat them. I'm just... I'm very... I'm not going to say I'm very lazy. Oh. Freaking Nightmare doesn't... don't care. There we go. That solves the problem. New game plus one for the first area, two for the second, three for the third. Hmm. Small chance I honestly might not make it there. Uh, I will admit, I might try for the new game plus one area uh, just to see if uh, see how it goes. But uh, unfortunately, I just don't know if I have time to play all the way through like new game plus three. I'm a I'm usually a pretty busy person when it comes to, like, new releases and whatnot, so, yeah. This month, uh... This month is... It's kind of quiet. Do we want to do Splunker, or do we want to... No, let's, let's start rolling Splunks. Savant and Gay. Yeah, it works for me. Um, let's see. So we definitely need some weight up. Oh, I should have put it into gold gain. We need weight up, and we need armor up. Get up to 200. And let's put the rest into just durability. I guess we already got all the uh, Splunking-related equipment. Okay, here we go. But yeah, the main reason why I've been staying away from Splunkers is... I just did not have the survivability to uh, justify them. I probably should invest a little bit into damage. We're not quite there yet. Take no damage. Oh boy. I think I'm just gonna skip that one because I'm 90% certain that's going to be fatal trying to get back up. Don't be a challenge. Okay, there we go. 
Let's see. Just do some in the forest. You'll get mad money. I... Whoop. I think I'm going to skip him. I'm... I only have 83 HP, which is my issue, and I only do 40 damage. I'm... I'm doing fairly well at clearing the forest as, like, a mage, but I haven't been, uh... I'm not entirely sure if I'd make it if I was playing this guy. Let's see. We drop down after the, after the chest. True! It's the getting to the chest that would be the fatal part. And if I, if I landed wrong going down, then I'd be doomed. Probably. I don't know. One way or another, I got this. Mostly. Duh. Hmm. Got some glory. Okay. Got him. We already got the chest, which is kind of nice. So I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna abscond with the cash and then leave the rest. Okay. Secret chest. We have bounty runes. But no, uh... Just to finish my thing about, like, time and whatnot and whether or not I have any. Unfortunately, uh... This month is... is Fortunately, unfortunately, this this month is extremely mild in terms of game releases, but chances are, like, April... Well, no, this is April. Damn it. Uh, chances are, like, May is going to tick up, or even even later this month will tick up, and I, truly, who knows, with the whole, like, pandemic situation, how many people are just going to, like, hold off on releases. Uh, but I will often find myself... Sitting in, like, these weird dry spells where I don't have anything going on, which is where I can do, like, crazy long series on Terraria. And then there are other points where it's just, like, I start doing something and then it's just like, by the way, three new games came out that, like, you need to really focus on because, you know, bread and butter. And suddenly I, like, no longer have any time to do anything and have to put, like, everything on the back burner. So whenever I play any game and it's like, there's new game plus, I'm just like, I don't know if I'll ever make it there. Just because, like, chances are something's going to show up beforehand. Uh, let's see. Take no damage. Got it. Coming back, though. Ooh. Maybe I'll be okay. Yeah, I was okay enough. We got it. Wow. Almost done with the entries. I've bested the beast of the tower, and once again I can feel the throne room give up some of its power. I feel... The rush I feel from this victory is intoxicating. Never have I felt so confident, so powerful, so at home. Just a little further and I'll be able to earn my reward. I'm so close. I will make my father proud. Yeah, so we absolutely are just... reading the journal entries of the boss... I kind of vaguely remembered that, but it's been a while. Come for me. Ah. I going to say come for me, but it didn't work out. All right. Siphon room bracers. Pretty soon we'll start getting setups from that, and that'll be nice. Take no damage. Yeah, let's not. Okay. Trying to get my HP back without dying horribly. This man is hoarding chicken. Okay, there's there's the HP back. That's what I was looking for. Okay, what else we got over here? How are we doing? Ow. I invested a shit ton of, into armor and these things still hit really hard. I... I thought it was a flat amount. It must be like a percentage or or they just have all scaled so it doesn't matter that's probably the actual case okay yeah 
There we go. Armor was always a percent uh, percentage. Ah. I was hoping it had been a flat amount, but that's fine. So what games are you looking forward to? Ooh, lots. Unfortunately, I don't keep track of like immediate things, but I should probably keep better track. I've been standing outside the dungeon gate for longer than I care to admit. My courage has finally been sapped, for I have spied the monsters below it, and they make my previous struggles laughable in comparison. I must steel myself. I must focus. There's so little light down there. I feel that I may lose myself. And what games am I looking forward to? Uh, Haven. Haven, Spirit Fair. Damn it. Ow, that hurt. Let's see, no Pogo Sword? Uh, honestly, compared to Hollow Knight, I find the Pogo Sword in Rogue Legacy to be really awkward and hard to handle. Uh, let's not. Like, in Hollow Knight, I can evenly Pogo across, like, a whole bed of spikes with limited issues. I have trouble Pogo Sorting in this one. Let's see, where do we even want to go? There's some goodies down below me if I can get to it, but I think that would be bad. I didn't even know he was there. Or Blessing of Helio. Oh, we know that was just a death defiance. Yeah, I should probably invest more into that. At least a little bit. Ooh. That was getting the hitbox a bit. Uh, take no damage. If I was passionate and stupid, what I would do is beat all of these balls into submission. Ow. Oh, I'm actually gaining HP off of these, breaking them. Funny. Unfortunately, I've already taken damage, so it doesn't work so hot. Probably could have jumped through it, but... I'm just going to farm HP off of them. They took it from me, they'll give it back. Okay, that's going to have to be enough. Oh. Let's see. Pogoing here is much harder than Hollow Knight. But the mod also makes the downstrike up upgrade, not cap. Makes pogoing hard, but really rewarding. Huh. So where do we want to go? I guess we've still got a fair distance before we hit the teleporter. Oh, let's see. Do I want to just... Yeah, go up to the right. As long as that's not one of the evil paintings, we'll be okay. There's some. Whoops. I am not exactly on the ball today. I've been feeling out of sorts lately. I think it's just not going outside for long periods of time is actually weighing on me a little bit more than I thought it would. Damn it. I knew that was going to be there. I saw it wiggle. Okay, let's grab the treasure chest before I get utterly wrecked. Got it. We just don't stand in front of the cheaty bits and we're good. Okay. Let's see, does armor help with the mana shield? I actually have no idea. I'm... I'm assuming that y yes Oops. Damn it. Okay. So far, so good. Nothing is wiggling. 
We want to keep going to the right. Okay, so far so good. Did I kill him? I think I killed him. Yeah. Okay. Still don't actually... Yep. Damn it. I am a death magnet. Ooh, Lich King. Or Dragon. I mean, let's be honest. <laughs> 